You guys are amazing. That first tutorial went through the roof. 200 likes in a day, 6,000 views in a week, not to mention all the conversation in the comment section about what you guys wanted to see next. Hmm. I wonder what it was. As much as you all want a full mixing tutorial, and as much as I want to give it to you guys, that's virtually impossible. So I thought of a little idea, and it seems like it's the next best option. I'm going to break mixing down into a bunch of bite-sized pieces so the topics are easy to sort through and reference. Drop a like if you'll be following the series, and comment below on any other ideas for series you'd like to see. Seriously, give me anything. Surprise me. I'm a freak. Anyways, thank you so much for all the support, guys. I cannot even begin to explain how much it all means to me. So I won't. I'll just show you. Stick around until the end of the video to see the dope shit I put together for y'all. Take it as my way of showing you just how much I appreciate you. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all tutorials and free kits. Now, in this video, we'll be covering kicks. And just how to mix them so that your listener feels Chuck Norris's glorious foot in their chest every time it hits. I want to be clear before we begin, there are many ways to do what I will show. I will simply be showing you my own unique methods so that you can implement my tips and tricks to get harder hitting kicks. Alright, let's get started. My method for harder hitting kicks is pretty simple and can be broken down into three key components. Sound selection, clipping, and distortion. There are a lot of other things you can do to your kicks to make them sound good, such as EQ or hard compression. But I believe that things like this focus more on the tonal nature of the kick and can oftentimes be completely ignored simply by having and using good sounds. So, number one, get better sounding kicks. I know this is easier said than done because good sounds oftentimes aren't cheap. I have a few free drum kits on my site that are loaded with kick samples that I created specifically to sound hard. For the demonstration in this video, I will be using the Nova Kick from my free Blackest Night drum kit. Number two, clipping. So I laid out a little drum pattern and made a melody to go along with it, just so this doesn't get too boring. This part won't be too in-depth just because I found that it's more of an issue of people not knowing about it rather than people not knowing how to use it. And I'll show you just what I mean. So go over to the mixer track where you linked your kick, open up Fruity Soft Clipper on your last insert slot, and that's basically it. Here's the drum pattern without the soft clipper on the kick. And here's the pattern with the soft clipping applied to the kick. What the clipper does is limit clipping by applying some light compression to the input signal, which in this instance is the kick. When the kick is above the threshold level of 0 dB, the soft clipper will also apply a saturation effect, which is where the fattening comes from. It's also the reason I have the kick at 1 dB so that it gets clipped down to 0 dB. Now, as great as it is to know all of that, all you really need to know is that soft clipping is a Chuck Norris approved method for beefing up your kicks. Okay, number three, distortion. Now a lot of people don't approve of distortion on kicks, but that's because they don't really understand it. You don't just slap it on, you have to be gentle and affectionate. It's like a garnish. Do you dip raw steak in a salty liquid paste? No, you sprinkle on a bit of salt, knowing that a little goes a long way. So what I usually do is use the default setting on the Fruity Fast Distortion plugin and move this switch from A to B. I'm not sure why, but the B setting just adds a warmness that I really, really like and appreciate. 
Once I've done that, I adjust the mix knob until the distortion is light enough not to overpower, but still strong enough to add a little bit of dirt to the drum sample. Here's the pattern with no distortion. Now with distortion. There you have it cuties. Now I'm going to play the pattern twice. The first time will be with the effects chain turned completely off, and the second time will be with the effects chain turned back on, so that you can see the entire difference. Alright guys, that's all I've got for you today. Let me know how you felt and drop a like if you learned something new. Comment below on how you like to mix your kicks and let me know what mixing topics you'd like me to cover next in this series. Stay beautiful, stay grinding, and never stop creating. Just make sure it's dope content only. See you later. Oh shit, I almost forgot. Here are the gifts I promised. One free drum kit with 10 hard ass kick samples and a free mixer preset pack. Download links in the description below. Thanks for sticking around. Peace.